To help me discover which mowers are cut above the rest, I've come to the world's greenest football club to meet a fellow who's probably the world's proudest groundsman. Adam Witchell is head groundsman at Forest Green Rovers' New Lawn Stadium and a pitch advisor to the FA. Adam, hello. Hi. His perfect pitch is regularly cut by a solar-powered robotic lawnmower that costs over £10,000. Congratulations on your lawn, it's splendid. I'm told it's very special, why? Yes, it's the only organic vegan pitch in the world. Um, we don't feed it on any chemicals. We don't use any organic fertilizers which contain animal byproducts. Ooh. It's literally pretty much a plant-based diet like the vegan diet itself. Adam clearly loves his lawns, but will my mowers kick grass today? My first test is to find out how easy it is to get each mower mowing. We're laying out a 10 by 10 metre section for each one. They all need to have a perimeter wire laid around your garden boundary so they can detect the edges. Each mower comes with its own wire pegs and base station. Well, let's pop it on the charging station. First up, I've got a Flymo 1200R. This mower takes just under an hour to charge, has a clear and crisp LCD display so you can program cutting times, and a dial that sets the height of the cut. I mean, so far it seems pretty easy to set up. Yeah, it was quick and easy, I think, putting yep. the wire down, putting the base down, plugging yep. in, clipped in, it charged straight away. And it will work in the rain. And start. Bye. The Flymo mows your lawn in a random pattern and mulches in the cuttings which helps fertilise the grass. Once it's done, it'll return home for a rest and a recharge. Next, a RoboMo RX12U. Different in appearance. Yeah, it's very cute. I think it is definitely the cutest of the uh, <laughs> robotic mowers we have. Let's go in there. Free. No screen. No, no screen. And it's just simple buttons here. There's a on button. Press go to Press go. Press go. Oh, he's more of a... There you go. This compact and bijou mower weighs just seven and a half kilograms and will cut your grass for an hour and a half on a full charge. If you fancy saving a bit of energy, you can switch it to eco mode. And if you just want to trim the borders of your garden, then the edge mode is for you. Time for the most expensive mower on test today, the works. This smartest of mowers claims to be faster and more agile than any other on the market. And its standout feature is that it can be controlled by an app. Pop it onto the charging station, charging's at the side. And turf fanatic Adam has already spotted something he really approves of. Here yep. on the plate, a lot of these are solid. This isn't. This allows the grass to grow upwards. A lot of it, it kills the grass underneath. Mm. But this doesn't. I think it's a very, very clever idea. A more grass-friendly uh, charging stand. Yeah, Brilliant. very good. Let's press go. Straight out. Mm. It has a charge time of 90 minutes, and you can stop and start it using voice control. So, all three mowers seem pretty straightforward to get going. Lovely jubbly. On to test two, and arguably the most important factor when it comes to robotic lawnmowers, how well they cut. Adam has kindly allowed his precious pitch to grow unfettered for the last seven days. But which of my mowers will bring the blades back down to Adam's preferred height of 30 millimetres? And while we wait for them to do their business, I'm forced, I mean asked, on the edge, on. to join in a kickabout. I am allergic to sport, you know. <laughs> the Flymo has a minimum cutting height of 20 millimetres and a maximum of 50. It uses swing-back razor-sharp blades and has built-in sensors to calculate the best possible route around your garden. The RoboMo has a cutting height of between 15 and 45 millimetres and uses rotating mulching blades and a floating deck, which allows the blades to move up and down with the slope of the ground, helping trim every inch of grass. The Works has a cutting height of between 30 and 60 millimetres. It cuts in an irregular pattern and has three pivoting razor blades. Unlike the other two mowers, though, this one's blades are offset to the side, which means it really can get into your edges. Time for Adam to get his macroscope out. This will tell him if the grass has been cut rather than torn. 
He has a handy grass height prism gauge, which reads the actual height of cut that each mower has made, as well as its smoothness. I never knew pitch care was such a high-tech business. So which is looking the best of the three? Um, at the moment, they're all cutting quite cleanly. The robo mower at the moment is cutting a lot tighter, but it is slightly lower. You don't want to scalp it low, low, low all the time. But if you leave the grass a little bit longer, it'll be a little bit tighter and it'll stop weed disease of weed plants blowing in and mm. the uptake of much moss. So all three mowers have done a decent job. On to my final test, obstacles. Each of these mowers has sensors that are supposed to help them avoid obstructions. So we're filling the pitch with various pieces of garden furniture, ornaments and outdoor toys for our mowers to navigate around. But which works best? So Formula One or this? Oh, this for me. <laughs> Robots on a football pitch, lovely. <laughs> the Flymo's bump sensors claim to help prevent it from crashing into things. Oh. Luckily, the mower will stop in its tracks, move back and recalculate a new route. Not necessarily the right one. The Flymo's stuck. It, it can't get away from the bench. It can't get, it's going round and round. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know it? if that's coming out. <laughs> The RoboMo's built-in bump sensors are doing a splendid job of avoiding everything we've laid out. The RoboMo's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's just tapped the gnome and it's turned all the way around. That's the right thing to do. Yep. While the work sensors seem to be having a day off. Poor little gnome. Oh, look, look, the works is pushing the gnome and the Oh, door. yes, yes. Oh, it's oh, killed the, the dog. dog. It had killed your pet and ruined your gnome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the flyman's gone back behind the bench again. It's, oh, no. <laughs> That's it. This is more entertaining than I expected. I know. I, I take an overall, which of the three would you have in your garden? I think on all the tests we've done, it's the robo mode. It is simple, easy, and it does a very, very good job. I agree. The robo mode is outstanding in its field.